Breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. Update on fuel subsidy remover. The Attorney General of the Federation has warned the Labour Union against the planned strike. Tell them you cannot afford it. You cannot go on strike. If you do it, you, the leaders, will be arrested and you will be prosecuted. This cannot happen. So every one of us, you know, uh, can see what is happening, you know, and it is very, very, you know, it's very, very clear that these things are sincerely happening right within our eyes. Labor Party, Labor has already told Nigerians that they are going on, on an indefinite strike because the federal government is not listening and is not doing the bidding, you know, of the people. The federal government has not risen like they should. They've not ensured that things are done properly. The federal government has continued, you know, to ignore the people despite the fact that, you know, despite the fact that they remove first subsidy with no plans. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. The Attorney General of the Federation has won labor union against the planned strike, says you cannot afford to strike. If you do it, you will be dealt with and you will not believe what will happen to you. Labor, the AGF, La Fe, Fagbemi, wrote the union through their lawyer, Femi Falana, warning to desist from planned strike over the fuel subsidy remover. The Attorney General of the Federation, La Fe, Fagbemi has cautioned labor union against the indefinite strike they plan to embark on to protest the hardship associated with the petrol subsidy remover. The labor union comprising the Nigerian Labor Congress, NLC, the Trade Union Congress, TUC, had on Tuesday decided their plans on to embark on an indefinite nationwide strike on 3rd of October. The AGF, who doubles as the Minister of Justice, issued warning on behalf of the federal government against the planned strike in a letter he addressed to the union via their lawyer, Femi Falana. In the letter dated 26 September, but made available to us, the newsmen, on Thursday by Mudukbe, Director of Press at the Federal Ministry of Justice, the minister reminded Labour Union of a substitute court order is issued in the pending suit at the industrial court consigning the dispute of the federal government and the union insisting that the federal government must do something for the people. Mr. Fagbemi said the proposed strike is in clear violation of the pending interim injection injunction order granted on 5th June 2023, restraining both Nigerian Labour Congress and Trade Union Congress from embarking on any industrial action. The AGF highlighted the development leading to the latest threat by the Labour Union to go on a nationwide strike. He referred the reference and exchange of correspondence between the minister and the between the ministry and Mr. Femi Falana's firm before and after the nationwide action pro protests declared by NLC on August the 2nd, 2023, are all there. If they date and they go on this strike, much more that they can imagine will happen to them. So, in case you are not aware, um, there is already a planned strike proposed. Um, the labor union, their their guy or their lawyer, as the case may be, is Femi Falana, a renowned, you know, lawyer, a renowned lawyer who we all know, an activist, a senior advocate of Nigeria, and um, this is what is happening. Femi Falana, you know, they've, you know, they've all introduced, um, you know, cases instigating that the federal government has to work for the people. People are genuinely suffering. You cannot stay on your high horse continue to maintain very high, you know, possibilities of what is go you're, you're going through, you know, encouraging and, you know, your cost of governance is increasing. How many ministers, and they all have permanent secretary, they all have uh, aides and all that, all that is being paid by the federal government. Then, then 
you come up to tell us that people should manage. When you yourself, management is deleted out of your list. It, it does not work. Sweetheart, do you understand me? Go work. It's not working. So they said there is a court, there is an impending court order that have said labor should, labor union should not go to court, but that if they go, he will, he will rise up that court order and every one of them will be dealt with. You know, he said, because they've been warned by the courts not to go to court. It's still an impending, there's still an impending judgment on this matter. So going to, there's still an impending judgment on this matter, going to, uh, going on the, the planned strike, the protest is in violation of the court order that says everybody should remain, you know, stay, you know, maintain the status quo until, you know, it's such a time that further directives will be given with regards to this case. But come to think of it, this is for the betterment of the life of people. They are saying, help the people, provide a bit of succor. Sinubu did not plan. There was no planning. He came there and I want I don't want to use the word very proudly, said, Yes, we are getting it, we are we're making sure that blah 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 blah. But there was no plan. There was no such thing. You did not you did not discuss, you did not have a committee to look at the possibility and the effect of what this could be and mean to the people and how you know to help people gravitate and get through this season. There was no plan. Even the Bible night tell us anybody with the, you know, you say if you if a man won't build house, say such a man has a responsibility. Somebody say responsibility. That man we have to sit down. Think about it. This thing I want to do, will I be committed to it? However, how am I going to do it? Will I do you understand? We must get into all these things. We must ensure that we know it. We must ensure that you know there is that clear cut picture giving direction as to what the roadmap into this matter really is there was no plan you came on your inauguration day you tell people say they don't come off for a subsidy they talk you say me they not talk god help us so god help us god please help us so these are some of the things that are going on and every single person can see so we need a change please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like us share subscribe click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news god bless have a fantastic and a lovely day and from us is bye for now bye bye